Hello everyone! Today I will be giving you a summary of chapters 13 and 14 in the book Chasing Lincoln's Killer. The main points in chapter 13 are Thomas Jones, Captain Cox, the Garrett sons, and many more were seized and taken to prison. Curiously, within weeks, Stanton freed them all. He put on trial only eight defendants, Mary Surratt, Lewis Powell, David Harold, George Affler, Samuel Arnold, Michael O'Loughlin, Edmund Spangler, and Samuel Mudd. Not one person who helped Booth and Harold escape, except Dr. Mudd, was punished. They returned to their homes and families and, for years to come, whispered secret tales of their deeds during the great manhunt. People with the slightest connection to the 12-day search for Lincoln's killer tried to get their piece of the reward. Richard Garrett made a claim against the U.S. government for compensation for the value of his property, including the burned barn and the corn and hay consumed by the cavalry horses. The government considered his claim but refused to pay him a cent. After all, he had been disloyal to the Union. Boston Corbett was never punished for shooting Booth. He had violated no orders, and no one could prove his motive was anything other than protecting his men. He enjoyed both fame and notoriety for a brief time. Then he went mad and disappeared. Chapter 14 Summary It is trial and execution. The prisoners were hanged, and at 1.26 p.m., they dropped to their deaths. Lewis Powell, David Harold, and George Astor were united in a grave with John Milk Booth, together again, as they had been that terrible evening of April 1865, when the chase for Lincoln's killer began. Original wrist irons were worn by conspirators from their arrest to their execution. The solid bar kept their hands apart. Thank you for watching.